that doesn't that doesn't go to my question. You're the government. You accept that scrapping those changes will mean more people will die. Well, I have not seen advice or analysis of that, so I'm not prepared to give you an answer. They they study. I have not seen advice or analysis to that, so I'm not prepared to answer that question. So let's just spell Shrug this emoji. out. Let's just spell this out. If smoking now continues for the next hundred years legally, rather than the next three, will the people smoking beyond that three year time period, some of them die from smoking? Now, I, I, let me just put it this way Chewy, if tomorrow, the number of cars on our road went up by 100%. In one night, the number of cars doubled on our roads. I don't think I would need to seek advice to answer the question, do you think there'll be more deaths on the road from a car accident? I think it would be fairly fair to say, yeah, obviously, if you double the number of cars, more people are going to die. It doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. I'm not saying that for the car example, but the reality is more people are going to die. Someone um, on Twitter this weekend said to me, had a bit of a crack, you'll be surprised, Joey, um, about, well, that's what they do. They have to go to their, you know, to the analysts and talk it all out. And I'm like, if, if she truly does need to get advice on more people smoking, will that lead to more people dying from smoking? Then we are more fucked than we thought. Unless, of course, Joey, she's lying and being a coward, running oh, look, away, running away. It's, it's unknowable, Pat. And, and look, I, I certainly don't want our, our listeners, because um, I've seen a couple of comments in the chat, and I just want to want to just really uh, get people to pump the brakes on that. I, I don't think it's reasonable to draw parallels between the fact that uh, Chris Bishop was a former tobacco um, tobacco industry lobbyist. Yeah. That, I, th I think that's unfair, because he's not on this program. It's Nicola Willis. They look very yeah. different. Um, and and, and I, I certainly don't uh, want you to draw any parallels to the amount of funding that the um, Taxpayers Union uh, got from Big Tobacco as well. That 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 would be very, very unfair. And and certainly, certainly please forget that Christopher Bishop's dad set up the Taxpayers Union, because that's well, unrelated. And that's, also what's uh, unrelated, that's unrelated. The, the other thing is the dairy, uh, the dairy as in the uh, dairy on the corner of the road, the dairy industry putting money in as well and giving them big, big chunks of money and support oh, yes, uh, to yes. the right. So, so you know, the guys that are going to be able to continue to sell these and make money off them, that's a complete coincidence. That's got nothing to do with it either. Yeah. Nothing yeah. whatsoever. Yeah.